Yo, uh, Kenshi, I need you to, uh, relax, my boy. Yo, Kenshi, hold this. <coughs> hey, what is up, guys? Mirza here. Now we're back on Mortal Kombat Mobile. So, update 2.7 just came out yesterday. It introduced the new tower, and then it introduced, uh, three, uh, MK11 diamond buffs, okay? So, in this video, I want to get a quick in-depth review about what went wrong when the developers went about upgrading these characters okay now i was planning on making this like three separate videos but i was like there's no need to milk it i could just review these three characters in like one video and just get it over with okay so i'm going to be explaining how update 2.7 failed the mk11 team okay now let's just jump into it okay now let's just jump into uh mk11 jade okay now mk11 jade let's talk about it for a second okay so embracing the shadow is her passive and here's the thing mk11 jade has a 25 percent chance to dodge basic attacks leaving the opponent slowed and open to counter attack for a brief time mk11 teammates are healed by fire bleed and poison now in mk11 jade's case the main problem doesn't lie with the fact that she's weak she isn't weak by any means, okay? But here's the thing. When she was a gold card, she had the same stats. Like, she had the same passive. So, normally, when you become a diamond character, you usually get buffed. Or, at least there's a noticeable uh, change when you're buffing a gold to a diamond, okay? Now, with Jade, that just wasn't the case. With Jade, they completely missed the mark. Um, I think with Jade, her becoming a diamond in the first place felt so... What do you call it? Unnecessary, I guess you could say. So I think MK11 Jade definitely didn't need the diamond buff. She didn't she didn't need it, okay? All that this is doing is making Jade a way harder character to get, okay? So her expect her percentage drops to be like less than 3% now, okay? Now there is a MK11 pack that has like a 6% chance of dropping um i think an mk11 jade but keep in mind that jade never needed a diamond buff i don't like in my professional opinion i don't think she even needed this buff it felt so unnecessary okay now when you look at uh mk11 cabal it's really like the same story with this man as well once again he didn't need this buff like he, he, he didn't need it the only thing that this is doing is just making these characters a lot more harder to get for people that are like free to play so think about it like that and what really hurts what really hurts this blow is that there is really no difference from when they were golds there's not there's not that big of a difference here now let's quickly talk about mk11 raiden now mk11 raiden was probably my most hyped uh expectations i guess you could say for update 2.7 like i was really really excited to see mk11 raiden because think about it like this mk11 raiden was probably like the worst mortal kombat 11 character in the game it doesn't mean that it was bad he was just a very weak card compared to the other way better mk11 characters okay and sadly this new update did nothing to help that nothing i still prefer my my op mk11 team which consists of uh mk11 sub-zero mk11 scorpion and mk11 jade that's like my go-to mk11 team everything about it is perfect okay and i was really hoping that that this new update would just buff the shia out of raiden okay but that just wasn't the case so here's what they did i'll tell you right now what they did um they beefed up his stats just a little bit and his and his electric fly is much better and he has a extra slot for the equipment setup so you know he has some buffs like there are some buffs but in the way that it matters it doesn't the passive should have been the first thing they should have buffed okay still even to this day this new update i don't want to play with raiden i just don't want to he's just not that powerful even as a diamond honestly in my opinion i think he's like the worst diamond in the game right i think so honestly no i think uh classic jacks might be the worst because classic jacks has probably I think the character Jax in MK Mobile just has the worst playset imaginable. He is so slow and his combos are so bad. And Diamond, uh, what do you call it? Diamond uh, Classic Jax is so bad. I mean, his pass might be okay, but his playset is so bad. Same thing with Sub Zero, MK11 Sub Zero. You know, he's a diamond, but his but his combos are so, so whack. Like, it's so slow, you can't even do your special one after it. But here's the thing MK11 Raiden. 
excels at gameplay his gameplay is fast it's good it's reliable that's what really matters okay but the thing is his synergies are weak a weak sauce all right now honestly you could put some gear sets make him somewhat better you know he's not a bad card but but the fact that he's a diamond and i still don't think he's viable for an mk11 team is crazy like i don't think he's viable which is really really sad to say i want him to be like here's the thing if you compare diamond raiden to i don't know sub like mk11 sub zero MK11 Sub Zero beats him, okay? Compare him to Scorpion. Scorpion beats Raiden, okay? Compare it to Jade. Jade beats Raiden. Like, I don't understand this. He's a diamond character. He should have a lot. Like, honestly, this goes for every single uh, MK11 character that got buffed. So, all three of them, for all three of them, for, for all their cases, there should have been a very noticeable change in their passive, and there just wasn't, okay? I'm glad. That he has his special one uh beefed his stats beefed and the equipment setup he has one extra gear slot which i think will help him be a much more viable teammate but then again i don't find him viable and that's just my opinion all in all if i were to um describe these buffs i would describe them as unnecessary okay like cabal and jade truly did not need this buff i don't know why they even got buffed like they just didn't need this diamond tier they're already bomb as hell and i feel like raiden needed it i think raiden was the only justifiable mk11 character to get that uh diamond buff and it's sad to say that they missed the mark heavy on my boy raiden like i mean if you guys watch for the first time i want you to know that i'm not just, i'm not just hating on raiden i love raiden bro i've said it in all my videos like bro he's like my favorite character in the mk lore like I love this guy. Like I mained him in MKX and MK11. Like he's like my, he's he's like my main, bro. And it sucks, man. It, it really sucks that he's just not that great in Mortal Kombat Mobile, boys. Holy <laughs> shit. Okay, well that's not tough. All right, uh, Jade, hold this. Ooh, ooh. Uh, sigh. And it's worth pointing out that Raiden still has no fatal crushing blows or whatever you call it he doesn't have crushing blows on his specials which is so crazy right like almost every single mk11 character has a has has, has a crushing blow in their specials i mean i know that raiden has a crushing blow in his basic combos which is a lot more better than having it on a special because combos don't require you know don't require bars at all so honestly it might be because of that but then again Raiden needs buffs, bro. Like I still think he's he, he's weak. I still think he's a weak card. But you know, regardless, he is a lot better than the previous update. Like there's no getting past that. He is better. Like you can't argue that he's worse now. He's not worse now, but the thing is they didn't optimize um the potential that he could have reached with his buffs. They just didn't do that. But they did buff him in some aspects that uh, could help you in some matches. All right. I mean this boy has a special too. I'm scared. I'm like actually scared Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, look at this special one, bro. This special one is so good. Like look at that I'm really glad that his special one is thick. All right And what the Shia is that why can't they man the fact that they can just block my dash is so sus Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, uh, uh. So, uh, Kenshi, I need you to, uh, relax, my boy. Yo, Kenshi, hold this. <coughs> Look at this diamond MK11 team, boy. Obviously, we have two more diamonds. We have, uh, Sub-Zero, and then we have, uh, Scorpion. Honestly, I gotta make some MK11 videos, bro. Like, straight up. I gotta make some MK11 teams, mix-ups, all that hotness. I gotta get right on that bandwagon, boy. Now, if you guys aren't... Uh, aware the new iPhone SE there was a problem with loading Mortal Kombat Mobile I'm glad they fixed that because my daily driver is a goddamn iPhone SE so you guys can understand the struggle is it just me or was I expecting major buffs like is that just me like when I saw the Twitter post I was expecting major changes in the characters and we just didn't get that it's like all they did was just make them diamond and that's literally it that's literally it they just made these characters diamond and that's it there's really just no noticeable buffs other than the equipment uh new equipment slot you know
Like I was just I was just expecting so much. Maybe not with Jade or Cabal, because they were already so OP, so I wasn't expecting much from them. But with Raiden, come on. Like I think everybody can agree that Raiden is like the weakest MK11 character. And he still is. Alright, and we have recorded. Oh no, fat rip for Jackie. Ah! Alright, boys, check it out. This is our final match of today's video. Okay, so. <gasps> Uh, before we jump into our final match of today's video, um, let me quickly, um, briefly explain what we have learned in today's video. We have learned that these diamond buffs are pretty whack, okay? MK11 Jade is practically the same as before. Same with Cabal, he's practically the same. Uh, MK11 Raiden, I was really expecting, uh, a lot of buffs for him specifically, uh, we didn't get that, but we did get some buffs, okay? Like, all around, all three characters got buffed, but not in the way that it mattered, okay? Like, they got buffed, sure, they are much better to play with, but it doesn't really hit the same as what I was expecting with the major passive rewrite that I was expecting from Raiden. Alright, final match of today's video. We're gonna leave off on a very sad note. <laughs> My boy Raiden just didn't get buffed. I think... Throughout all this video, we learned that Raiden just can't get buffed. Even in Mortal Kombat 11, like the console version, my boy still struggles. <laughs> and no matter how much they buff him in the PS4 and Xbox version, <laughs> he just struggles. Raiden has always struggled, bro. Ever since MK11, like, like the game came out, Raiden has always struggled. Alright, this is it, this is it, this is it. Just do the... I am yay! Okay, that did it. That was so anticlimactic. Alright, watch this. Ah! Wait, hold on. Bro, the Revenant Shield, you're kind of sus. All right, boys, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, all right? So, um, you know, diamond buffs were pretty trash. I'm not going to cap. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Shirayu Tower. I'm, I'm going to be definitely be doing that. But as far as it goes of me trying to get a smoke gameplay out soon for you guys, I don't know how I'm going how I'm going to be able to do that yet, okay? But what I do know is that uh smoke is actually in the Shirayu Tower, okay? So you will see him in the tower, so you can see his passives and all that stuff, okay? But if I have any screenshots, I'll probably put it on like my Instagram or Twitter or Discord. So make sure you guys follow me on my social media links. All that hotness will be in the description down below. But other than that, I will talk to you later. Uh, peace, peace, guys.